Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. See, Lucas is back in Brazil and I am here, so we are filming this video separately. Thank you so much for the love on the previous video and thank you for a hundred subscribers. It's crazy to us, we're so thankful. That's really cool, we can't find words to thank you. We hope that you will enjoy your content, so thank you so much. Today we're gonna talk about a quite controversial topic. Uh, we're gonna talk about Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, some people love him, some people think he's the funniest guy ever, but other people just don't feel the same. We just want to say that we are simply stating facts here. We hope you guys can just form your own opinion about this, but we are really trying to not involve course. So yeah, it's just stating facts and talking about this special person. Kimi Matthias Raikkonen was born on the 17th of October in 1979 and it means he is almost 41 years old. This month he will turn 41, so that's crazy. He's been in Formula 1 for a really long time. He was born in Espoo, Finland. He started karting really early, but uh, most of his period in karting he spent in the Netherlands with a Dutch team. And then when he was 20, he could go to Formula Renault when Peter Sauber he started to have an eye on him, you know, looking, seeing the talent. Therefore, Kimi could do a test drive in a Sauber Formula One car in 2001. And after seeing him doing the test drive, he actually offered him a contract. Uh, normally, for you to get a super license, it used to work way different in the past, but basically you would have to drive a Formula 3 or an F2000 but uh, Kimi didn't do that. Kimi got so much support from everyone. He got a super license for one year long. So in that time he could prove if he was actually good enough. So Kimi started racing in Formula 1 in 2001 with Sauber. In 2001 is the time actually when I and Lucas were born, so that's crazy. And actually it started off really good for him. In his first race ever in Formula 1, he finished in a good 6th position and uh, the next year he moved to McLaren, replacing his counterpart Mika Hakkinen and uh, Raikkonen, in his first race for McLaren, he already got a podium he finished 2nd in that season for the World Driver Championship In 2005, he was again vice champion when Alonso got his 2nd World Drivers' Championship with Renault. In 2007, it was huge when Raikkonen moved to Ferrari. He was uh, the most well-paid driver ever. He was getting 51 million dollars per year to drive for Ferrari and it paid off because he was champion. Raikkonen was the World Driver Champion in 2007 in a crazy last race and he was champion for only one point of the second, so that was tight, but it happened. In 2009, he stepped out of Formula 1. Until this time, he did really well, but when he stepped out, he did some ready racing, and then he returned to Formula 1 in 2012. He returned at the team Lotus, and he stayed at Lotus until 2013, and he did a pretty job. Yeah, he got some podiums, I believe some race wins, and in 2014, he went back to Ferrari, replacing Felipe Massa, who would go to Williams. And I reckon in the state of Ferrari, he did well until uh, 2018. And it was also in the 2018 American Grand Prix in the circuits of the Americas uh, when Raikkonen got his 21st win in Formula One, which made him the most victorious Finnish Formula One driver, which is pretty big because we have had some uh, Finnish drivers in Formula One already with some success say Mika Hakkinen. And from 2019, Kimi has been driving at Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo, unfortunately, is not the greatest team, so he is driving at the back of the grid. However, he's still breaking records because at the last race at the Nürburgring in Germany, he became like the most experienced driver ever. 
he beat Rubens Barrichello record, so he's been there for, for quite some time. Time to talk about Kimi's personal life. In 2004, Kimi married Jenny Dolman. She was the Miss Finland and Miss Scandinavia. Kimi has always been known as a wild one. Someone that would get drunk and all and go to parties. And he was always spotted in controversies. For example, he went to a strip club with his friends, while well, he was married, by the way, and he got caught with his pants down. Yeah, of course he was kicked out together with his friends. And many other things like this happened. If you want to know more, you can certainly Google and find a lot about him. He divorced from Jenny in 2013. And then he got together with... Mintu uh... Virtanen. Mintu Virtanen. Okay. Mintu Virtanen, with whom he got a son, Robin, in 2015. After that, he got married again to Minto in 2016, and in the next year, he got Rihanna, his uh, daughter. So, after that, people were like, okay, he's in his second marriage, he has two kids. We all think he's gonna settle down now, you know, calm. However, there are still some crazy things going on here and there. Recently, he got into some drama again because he posted a picture on Instagram while being drunk for sure, comparing Lewis Hamilton to James Hunt. Basically saying that Lewis Hamilton is not a real man or a real racer. Um, and a lot of people got mad at him about this, but a lot of other people thought it was funny. So you really have two sides on this. But um, why people like him? Well, Kimi Raikkonen is a cold person, he's straight to the point. Kimi is a very honest person. He has no filter for his mouth, he is totally open and says a lot of things that other drivers might not want to say. And that's why a lot of people think he is funny, he is real, he doesn't take bullshit. Besides that, of course, you can't deny that he was super successful and still is. He's a good driver, he's been there in Formula 1 for a long time, he has made his presence, so I think people like him because of that. But um, why some people do not like him? There are a lot of young drivers in the grid right now, and of course there's been talked a lot about acceptance, Black Lives Matter, and a lot of those kinds of things, and Kimi doesn't seem like the kind of person who's really interested in this and wants to participate in this. And for that reason, a lot of people think he just doesn't fit in Formula 1 anymore. People just think that his time has come, you know, and uh, it's better if uh, he leaves the space for young drivers, new talents to come. And people are starting to get really annoyed uh, and get enough of him. Well, that was it. That was the drama around Kim Raikkonen and everything about him. But we really, really want to know your opinion. Do you like him? Do you think he should still be in Formula 1 for the next years or do you think his time has come? Let us know in the comments. We really hope you liked this video. Like, subscribe. And thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>